Okay, so now this is the um, second uh, of a series of video uh, illustrating the uh, uniform and Gaussian distribution. Uh, so here we're going to uh, walk you through some of the little details of how you um, make a um, Gaussian distribution from a uniform distribution. Here uh, shows you the very basics of it. It's not the general case. So the general case you need to, we'll, we'll try to, you know, um, show you that maybe on another video or maybe you can look it up. And so uh, here, this video would uh, help you uh, get a little bit of a head start on that, on, on, on this, uh, this topic. And so uh, you hopefully will lessen your, your frustrations or whatnot. If you, if this, if you're doing, um, learning this uh, random variables and uh, uniform and Gaussian distribution for the first time. All right, so what we have here is this. This is the Gaussian uh, Gaussian function, the e to the negative x squared x, and then it's integrated over dx. Um, so the Gaussian function is, the, is this thing here, uh, e to the negative x squared. But here it's just written in terms of an integral. And so x is your random variable. It's uni uh, it's Gaussian or normally distributed, uh, uh, looking like this from what we showed you the last time. See, so this thing here is is that thing there. And the total area and the total area is is the integration. Okay, it's in the integration. Now, depending on you know uh, how how which uh, level of the calculus math that you did, but you know you know in your team you you have students you know. Uh, who already finished all, all their physics and their math. So if, if you have difficulty, you know, uh, maybe, um, uh, so try to help each other out and to, um, you know, work through the math and explain the math and then, you know, um, uh, complement each other with your strength. You know, if you, you know the math and physics, okay. And if you know the, the, the computers, the Linux, the C, okay. So you try to help each other out. So what, what, what are we doing? What are we trying to do? So we're going to try to produce this, uh, this uh, Gaussian distribution. But how are we going to do it? Because you cannot integrate this. You cannot integrate this thing. So instead, so what you do is this. You, you may have seen this if you're taking like a calculus 3 class. And so you add another uh, variable called y squared. And then you do a double integration on there. And so this gives you now in terms of e uh, negative r squared dA. So from there, you go to there. Okay, from there, you go to there. Now, so what, what happens? Uh, what, what is dA? Well, dA is an area. It's a patch of area. Now, it's in polar coordinates. You know, so now, instead of talking about x and y, you're going to talk about r and theta, angle theta. So this is the patch of area dA. Right, which is dr ds. So what is dr? Dr is a little bit of the radius. Ds is a little bit of the arc on a patch of area. Or this is a circle. This is not a sphere. Now again, so some of, if you are taking physics 4b class, this should be very familiar to you. It's not something new. But you if you haven't taken it, that's okay. So talk with your team members, and they should be able to uh, uh, recall and then explain to you what's happening here. What 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 what, I, what I'm trying to do here. So anyway, uh, the, the, the area, the patch of area is going to be given by r, d, r, d theta, where r is the radius of the, to the segment, to the little segment. So we're going to integrate now on this, uh, on this uh, area, on a circular area, instead of an x and y rectangular area. Okay. All right, so we, we don't know how to do this, but we know how to do this through this. Okay. And when you do the area, well, so why do you go through something like this? Because now, you see, now you have an R there. You have an R there. Before, it wasn't there. You see? Before, it was not there. You see? You have this R, right, that comes from this R right there. You see? You have this R and DR, and now you can do the integration. Okay? So, uh, therefore, now you, you keep going with your math. It's just math right now. It's not even probability. It's not even anything about normal distribution. But we know the relationship between r and x on a circle and a rectangle. We know the, what x is, how x is related to r, where it's related by this, and how x and r 
uh, x, y, and theta, the angle of theta, how they were derivative by these two. So now what we do is the next step is we now we change the variable one more time, right? We went from x, y to r, and now we go to u. Eh? And we hide this r. You see how this r is hidden now? It's, it's gone. You see, it's gone. But there's a trade-off. There's a half there. You see, there's a half there. And the angle, the angle, the integration on d theta, you don't do anything uh, because this is what we want. This is the uniform distribution. You see, this is the uniform distribution. This is this. This is the thing we were talking about in our last recording. It's the uniform distribution. Why? Because it's one d theta. Okay. All right. So now uh, keep going here. And so we we make the substitution. U is equal to r squared. And so therefore, if you do that, you're going to get x equal to square root of u cosine theta, y is equal to square root of u sine theta. So with, uh, with, with, with two parameters, uh, r and theta, or u and theta, you get two Gaussian random variables, x and y. And they're related like this. Now, however, this is uniform. This is uniform, but this, this is not uniform. This is not uniform. So we want to go one more step to make this now, you know, this is an exponential function. So we want to make this uniform. Okay. So we come down here. You see, we come down to the arrow here. We want to make it look like this. An integral dv, which is one dv, you see, one dv. And integral d theta, that's, it's already uniform. So we don't do, we need to do anything. So you have this and you have that. Okay. So, and, but how do you go from here to there? So what is the relationship between v and u. What's the relationship between v and u such that we can jump from there to there, which is showing on the next page. Okay, so it's showing on the next page. So I have more math here, but it, it's uh, it, it's it's uh, more uh, 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 you know uh, 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 just a, a, a detailed work, a, a rough sketch. So this is the next page, All right? So now you have this this thing here. Uh, you want to make it look like that. How do you do it? Well, you integrate it right from your basic math class. You do this. Now you change it. Make sure, do it very carefully. We want to make find a relationship between u and v. Okay, find a relation between u and v. Okay, so we want to do this very carefully. And so we do the do do just try to do it step by step. And we change the uh, the name to u prime. So you go from zero to u, zero to u. Don't forget the one half, right? So this one half shows up is because of of this uh this this integration, you know this one half comes from going from from there, uh, sorry from uh, yeah from 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 there to there it shows up with this one half okay so it's a it's kind of at a baggage but that's okay so we found now the relationship between u and v we do all this we found the relationship between uh between um uh, how u and v they stack up so this is equal to v this whole thing this whole thing is going to equal to v. And what is it? It's going to be one half, uh, one, uh, the whole thing, one minus e to the negative u. Okay. So what, 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 what do we just do? What do we just do? Well, now we solve for u in terms of v. We know, we know u, u is over here. You see, u is over here. u is over there. So now we solve for that. And so this is the steps that does it. And if you do all this, uh, uh, you're going to get a relationship between u and v, which is negative, the natural log, the whole thing, the whole thing, one minus two v, one minus two v, okay? So now, what are the limits? You know, you cannot just take any number. So as u goes to zero, v goes to zero, okay? As u goes to infinity, v goes to one half, v goes to one half. So this means, this means v is restricted to zero to one half. v is restricted to zero to one half, okay? So, Therefore, what do we have? We have the relationship between u and v. It's right here. Okay, v and u. Now, it, it kind of looks confusing. What, what's going on here? You have this u, you have this v, and then you have the x and the y, and then the, the, the r and the theta, and then you have all this big mess, all this stuff. Well, just keep track of what, what is going on, what is happening. So here, this is v. We only allow v to go from zero to one half, which has a uniform distribution. Remember, I was showing you this earlier in the previous recording. If you've seen the previous recording, you know what I mean. This is what we're doing here. Right? This thing, this thing, is this thing right there. 
So its area happens to be one half because we limit one half and one, you get a half. We limit this thing to up to one half. Why? If you don't do that, this is going to blow up. This is going to blow up. But this is good enough because u goes to infinity. See, u goes to infinity, right? And when u goes to infinity, eh, u goes to infinity, r goes to infinity, right? Or plus or minus infinity, okay? And so therefore, this here now, uniform distribution goes to an exponentially decaying distribution. This in terms is going to go to that distribution. That in terms is going to give you that distribution. That in terms is going to give you this thing, and it's going to give you these two things. So that's what's happening here. Okay. So now we have the relationship between u, v. So v, what is v? v u is an intermediate variable. V, v, right? So listen up. V and theta, the angle of theta, right? Which comes from here, which comes from that angle, which comes from the patch of area, right? Okay. So that, uh, th that, those, these two, v and theta, right? They are our uniform distribution. Uniform distribution. Okay. So what is the restriction then? What are the restrictions? So you cannot have any, any. So v goes from zero to a half, right? And so all this is, all this works. Both the areas are the same, the equal area. One is an exponentially decaying um, uh, function, distribution. One is a uniform distribution, but they both have the same area. You see one half here, one half here. They both have the same area. Okay. What is this? This here is this, is this, which is that, which is that, which is that, which is that. Okay. So that's what we have. And so theta goes from um, zero. Let's see, what is theta? Uh, sorry, uh, uh, v goes from zero to a half, and theta goes from zero uh, to two pi for your, uh, to make your sine cosine. So it, it goes all around the circle, the circular path area, the circular area. It just goes all the, all the way around. It goes all the way around. Okay. So now, with this in mind, um, you, you see the relationship between the two, right? So u is an intermediate variable. V is your random variable, but it's, it's your random number. Huh? But it is not the, it could be the random number you get from C. You need to look it up because there's a restriction that's placed on here, right? So when you write a little program, this is a special case. This is not the general case. The special case will be showing uh, I will not show you the, all the details, uh, walk you through the details like what I'm doing here with this special case. I'll show you the, the, the formulas, the results for the general case, and that is the one later on you want to implement because the general case is what we want. Okay, so V, it's your random variable, that is your random number, has a restriction. Okay, theta, it's your random number. This is what it needs to be, 0 to 2 pi. In C programming, y'all, if you already looked it up, it will you can uh, 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 generate random number. Let's say uh, normalize random numbers from zero to one, and then you need to scale it. You need to scale it. Okay. So and and this is the relation between x and y. So these are your Gaussian random variables. This is for x. This is for y. You know, you get two, two for the price of two. Okay. You uh, you have a v and a theta. And then you get an x and a y. Okay, so the theta is a random variable. U is your uh, intermediate variable, which depends on v, the um, the random uh, uh, number or the random variable. Okay, and you got to be careful here with this ln. There is a negative. There is a negative. So check, put in some numbers here to make sure this is working right before you try to attempt this. Attempt this now. The, the result for this, it's in, um, uh, uh, what is that? The uh, Gaussian uh, Gaussian distribution 1.dat data file, okay? If you want to look at what this stuff generated, and you can look at it there and see what it did and to see how it works. So for you, you're going to do the general case. You can work on this, uh, try to understand the math here. I will show you the general case in the next video because I think I'm going over time here. So that's it for now. And so that's what we have.